when I started my channel, it wasn't really, I don't want to be a, another survival channel or anything like that. Um, what really got me to start the anti-prepper was a video, one of thousands, on how all you need is a poncho in your kit, in your survival kit pisses me off okay it's raining you're using your poncho as your survival shelter and all of a sudden you need to get out and move around well are you going to take your poncho down now because you didn't pack any wet weather gear and your wet weather gear is now your shelter there's a video of a guy camping with his kids and he loves making poncho shelters and they're all huddled up under a rock together under his poncho and it's raining like hell and they're drying their clothes out over a fire and uh, they have no way to go get more firewood they're naked temperatures dropping uh, they're stuck on there it's dangerous all right another video i'd seen was a walmart mom who got a ridiculous backpack for her kids and she was talking about her kid was five or six years old. She had 40 pounds and a Walmart backpack on him. Um, yeah. I kind of calmed down. And I got to thinking, you know, this lady at least, at least she's thinking. She's trying. You know what I mean? I didn't leave any negative comments um, or anything. But I did do a video uh, one of my first videos on it if I can get to my channel uh, one of the very first videos I did for this channel was a really really negative awful uh, video on just how dangerous these people are there it is dangerous deadly irresponsible shelter practices uh, my god I was cussing these people out they said I was just angry uh, you know there's a hundred videos that I've done y'all have never seen uh, everything from triangulating your point on a map uh, the how to land multiple mortar rounds from a single mortar and have them all hit at one time. Um, a couple of those went to some of my military friends. Uh, how to how to operate the, the micro dagger, the, the GPS that they use in the armies. You know, I, send, I do videos and I send them to my friends. Uh, online. But like I said, I don't want my channel this is the polite version right here, why I chose Rainfly over Poncho. Uh, that's what I started it for. To actually put out some educational videos. Uh, like most people, I am, I am subscribed uh, to a lot of the people on YouTube here. Uh, you know, let's go back here. Dan, I, I'm, risk, I'm, I'm subscribed to Dan. Uh, let's see how Dan turned out when he did his uh, Grand Canyon hike. When there's a 5,000 meter drop over 14 miles from the rim of the Grand Canyon down to the river. And Dan is one of these people, you can learn a lot from these hikers and stuff. But Dan, just like Homemade Wonderlust here, are ultralighters. Now, us old army grunts can learn a lot from ultralighters, just like, you know, Grunt Pro says. But here is old uh, Homemade Wanderlust, why she hates hiking. Well, I can tell you why she hates hiking. I don't have to watch the video, even though I'm subscribed and I actually like watching her videos. This woman here actually came out with a video one time saying, you don't need to wear boots. You don't need to carry a first aid kit. You don't need to carry bear spray. You don't need to carry any type of self-protection like a knife or a gun or anything. Uh, 
that's dangerous. That's really dangerous. How many people have watched their videos and just walked out on the wo in the woods because they say, well, she's doing it. Uh, she said, I don't need this stuff. And they got lost. Or well, they died. I wonder if she realizes when she says things like, you don't need to carry a knife. You don't need to carry uh, protection. You don't need to carry a first aid kit. I wonder if she realizes that 416,000 people watch her and she needs to be a little more responsible with some of her statements. Or Dan here, 272,000 subscribers. When Dan tells you, uh, you know, six pound base weight and a $700 plastic trash bag for a backpack. You don't need to carry this. You don't need this weight. You know, what Dan needed to check was the stats on walking downhill for 14 miles when he had to get rescued out of the Grand Canyon. It uses muscles that you don't use in your everyday life. And it's 14 miles downhill on one of those trails. Your feet, your ankles, your shins, your knees, your hamstrings, the muscles up front. These don't get activated much in your daily life. Maybe you walk down a flight of steps or something like that. It was winter time and I was watching this video and I'm thinking, he's not drinking enough water. They're not stopping and taking the proper breaks. It's cool so you're not hot, you're not sweating. Well, you are sweating, but your your moisture wicking clothes, your modern synthetics are, are moving it away from you. You don't realize how bad you're sweating. You don't realize that what is he in his 40s, late 30s, early 40s, and he hasn't used these muscles in 20 years. You're gonna cramp. Oh, um, you're gonna end up just like Dan here being rescued because you didn't do a simple Google search. Uh, it's dangerous. Uh, another one that I'm really fond of or used to be was uh, Survival Lily. And I'm not knocking any of these people. Uh, not at all. Uh, I really liked them. Survival L Lily if you watch any of her videos nowadays, turned out not to be a real survivalist at all. She's got 109 million subscribers. The economy turned in her country. And she's always been about, oh, surviving, you know, when shit hits the fan and all of that. Well, one of her first videos after the economy turned and she wasn't making any money, did she go to her survival stuff? No, she went to her sponsors and she started hawking surgical kits. She didn't know anything at all about the surgical kit itself. She picked up the needle driver, the needle driver, and called it a pair of tweezers. But yet, to make money, she's hawking surgical kits that she doesn't even understand the principle I'm behind. Okay, I really enjoy watching Survival Lid Lily's videos. These people, you have to understand, they have major sponsors. Um, they get paid for this. They don't do the research. They're given a product and they go out and they push it. Um, my channel, 400 subscribers. Uh, but I actually do the research. I've actually been in a lot of the situations. Um, I'm fixing to open up a store now. Uh, I've talked to a blacksmith and I'm going to be having him make up little things uh, for the store, for the outdoor store. Traditional things that I've always fought against. But as the country's going to shit, 
uh, these traditional things like this this is not a weapon here it's called a food spike uh, that's a blanket pen a lot of people don't know what they're for or how to use them that's not a weapon that's a little finger knife or a blacksmith knife uh, for cutting and preparing your food on a rock beside a fire um, your C clips uh, for attaching things to your molly I'm gonna sell these at my store um, yeah research doing the stuff actually have living lived through a lot of the stuff um, like uh, I don't believe I put my Agilite stuff out yet but the Agilite K19 and the AMAP 3 backpack um, actually got fully tested over a couple of weekends this is four hundred and fifty five dollars worth of uh, carrier and backpack that I bought and took a run in an airsoft game to test out uh, I did it over a couple of Saturdays uh, so when when I put it out there it's been used uh, it's been tested uh, proven and if I like it I like it I say it if I don't like it I don't like it and I say it um, when I drive a truck across country even though I'm not in the army anymore uh, I drive a day cab truck uh, in that day cab truck there's no sleeper I don't get a motel room every night um, I'm trying to just go through and show y'all some of the things of what I wish to accomplish you know I'm in a day cab truck where's the picture of the day cab truck there it is this little truck right here but I don't get a motel room every night uh, that's the type of stuff that I haul uh, I sleep right here in the truck and a lot of times I'm just pulled up on the side of the road beside some shelter or something like this was uh, two nights ago before I got the motel room uh, on the side of the road here in Texas there's the cooler that I keep between the seats um, I put a floor mat over top of it and a comforter goes over top of that and a pillow comes out and th this is me camping out every single night so the stuff that I carry the stuff that I use I've carried and used for 20 years and I've never had a problem with I don't understand it maybe I'm a little jealous yeah you know these people corporate people they're good people but they get you know a million subscribers it means a million people have put their faith in this woman here and when the shit actually hit the fan she was freaking out and crying in her car trying to push surgical kits to make money I guess I guess that's how she survives when it actually happens right a uh, little bit of research for Dan here just a quick Google search elevation from rim to river is 5,850 foot along 14.2 miles so you do 15 20 miles a day you're going downhill 14 miles you're not used to that you're not drinking water now Dan says you don't need big heavy boots Dan says you don't need first aid kit Dan says you don't need this and that you only need six to seven pounds in a Cuban fiber six hundred dollar whatever backpack hey Dan when the people in the ambulance showed up to search and rescue to carry you out of the Grand Canyon did they have on boots? Did they have on a real backpack or have it close by to them that weighed more than six pounds? Yes. Did they have a knife? Yes. Did they have personal protection? Yes. Did they have supplies for themselves, for you, and for many extra people? Yes. Did they have more than 12 pounds base weight? Yes. Okay. Search and rescue only exists 
and I'm stealing this from uh, Josh, the green bearded, green, gray bearded green beret. Search and rescue only exists for day hikers. It's people that are actually prepared, that study, that move ahead, uh, that actually do things other than carry <laughs> expensive camera equipment and try to get clicks. People that are actually worried that someone may watch their video and if they haven't said the right thing in the video their conscience won't be clear if that person gets hurt even if they don't know them even if they don't know that it never happened okay that is the point of my channel trying to correct some of these not saying they're bad people I'm just saying they're giving bad advice um, that's what I'm moving forward with and yeah I'm kind of butt hurt I'm kind of butt hurt that only 430 people want to hear actual truth they want to see a real person that smokes that farts uh, that runs out of toilet paper like the last video I just did I'm kind of butt hurt about that a little bit uh, yeah I would like to have a thousand subscribers 2,000 subscribers but that's not my goal my goal is to just put out the best information that I can and I'm trying to decide whether or not you know the best video I ever ever had and I can go back and show you while I'm doing this you go to my channel uh, the best video I ever had that y'all liked the most and it got like 20,000 views uh, that one was me ripping up my DD-214 um, after General Milley uh, it was discovered that he told China that they were going to uh, give him a 30 minutes heads up if, if Trump come after him uh, the fucking traitor needs to be hung uh, but look 21,000 views my get home bag common sense version from a truck driver 21,000 views 762 likes uh, my best performing video ever and I was being a complete asshole in it uh, so that's kind of making me wonder if I shouldn't release the asshole video down here uh, if anybody's watching made it this far uh, instead of the nice polite why I choose a rain tarp over a poncho uh, if anybody's made it this far I can hit the button real quick there and put out the dangerous deadly irresponsible shelter practices that are put out by these YouTube people uh, I can put out the new brutal survival lessons channel that's me cussing and fussing and ranting and raving uh, apparently most of my subscribers come from that anyway uh, most of the likes come from it so hey why not uh, what's the best survival knife uh, I haven't put that one out uh, I did put one out right there just a little quick one that I was doing and you know the answer is it's whatever knife you have on you at the time when you need it that's the best survival knife I've got seven eight nine different survival type knives but the best one to have with you or the best survival knife is the one you have with you uh, when you actually need it so yeah, like I said, there's there's hundreds of videos on here. Uh, I look through the the statistics, the analogs, just like all the other YouTubers do. Uh, if I go on to my studio here, uh, I get all the statistics. Uh, I can, what type of videos? Uh, the analytics, who's watching where? Uh, It shows you know all of this stuff I know it and I can look at this and I can go and find that one video if you can bear with me another couple of minutes here uh, where I was being just a straight ass and everybody seemed to love it so is that the secret stop being nice and just make short videos on the straight poop and I don't know but yeah like I said in my statistics I can see that thousands of people watch 
and out of the thousands of people that watch 400 hit the subscribe button uh, I would like to boost that on up a little bit I don't know how to do it uh, I'm a truck driver I'm an old soldier uh, I don't have a three thousand dollar camera and I don't pay someone to edit my videos uh, so yeah y'all y'all are the viewers you know what you like comment tell me I can take it uh, the worst comment I ever got, I, I laughed and responded and highlighted it. Uh, I, I'm not a millennial. I'm a Generation X. I've been in combat. I was married to a beautiful woman, an actual model, for six years. I know what punishment is. You can't hurt me with your comments. Uh, so, you know, dislike the video, like the video, comment on the video, subscribe and more people will get the opportunity to see actual in the dirt in the trenches videos uh, why can't our community have a million people watching the videos when you have dangerous people that don't actually know anything that are misleading people they have a million views or a million subscribers I don't know like I said, this, this isn't a rant. Uh, I just wanted to share why this channel was started. And, and I'm not the best announcer. I'm not the best commentator. I know it, my voice sucks. I don't do professional videos. Is that the problem? I don't know. I would like your help and your answers. Uh, like I said, leave a comment. I'm never going to report a comment. You can cuss me out all you want. I'm not going to report it. I'm not going to ban it. That's not who I am. Who I am is actually trying to get it out there to these lost generation who don't know what they're missing. They're not smart enough to know what's coming. I would like to help them before it happens to be ready. So anyway, like I said, give me a shout. Uh, let's try to push this content a little bit more, if you're willing. And uh, hey, thanks a lot.